Exactly. That's right. So you've got people out here that say that they love us and this is right. <laughs> Nigga, you hate us, man. <laughs> what are you showing me love, man? That same dude was the same guy over here. Uh, over here, uh, uh, uh. When he first came up here, he was acting a dang up fool. The police had to calm him down. So he was, he was stopping himself from calling us niggas. And then he got up with the uh, 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 with the neighborhood association trying to get us off the block. So what are you showing? How are you showing love, man? Explain to me. What is your concept of love, man? Being an asshole? Being deceptive? Come on, man. Go ahead, huh? This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. That's right, man. That's the most I set us up to give us, give us warning, man. Now, I wanted to go to uh, Ezekiel 33 because expound on what we was talking about. No, you fine. That's good, brother. Uh, expound on what we was talking about. The most we ain't going to get killed for, uh, uh, for not speaking up, man. The most I spent, uh, 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 got us uh, out here to be watched, man. That's what we're going to do, man. Lord willing, continue, man. We ain't going to stand for this BS, man. That's right, huh? Fucking faggots, man. As a man, you should be tired of this, man. As a man, if you had children, you should be tired of this place, man. Especially if you have a son. He ain't, they ain't doing nothing but perpetuating a, 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 a man being feminine. Especially these people on his son, man. You can't build no goddamn nation off of a man being uh, feminine. You can't build a family off of a man being feminine. Being a goddamn punk, man. Doesn't make any sense. It's irrational. Biologically, you're not built that way. That's why they had the whole term, uh, he's acting feminine. Because what are you acting like? What's the word like me? Something that's similar in character and characteristics. You act like a female. That's not for you, man. Okay? That's right, Go ahead, huh? This is Ezekiel 33 and 2. Son of man, speak to the children of thy people. Uh-huh. And say unto them, when I bring the sword upon upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set them to their watch. That's right, man. We're out here, uh, when there's a sword coming on our people, we're, there, there's why there were watchmen that set for war to people, man. And that's what we're doing out here. We're warning, what are we warning against, man? That's, uh, uh, shoot, the iniquities of the world. Hey, watch out for this, don't eat this. Don't drink that. Don't do this, don't do that. Don't go here, don't go there. Why? Because we understand iniquity is in those, those places, man. Okay? That's what we're set up to do. Go ahead. This is verse 3. If when he seeth the, the sword come upon come upon the land, he blow out the trumpet uh -huh. and warn the people. That's right. That's verse 4. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taken not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. That's right. His blood shall be upon his own head. So now we out here telling our people to turn away from the madness. None of our listen to is obviously. I mean, look, you could, you could just pan around. You might listen to us. You got Jake over there. They some hoes. They ain't listening to us, man. You know what I'm saying? But hey, they done heard it. They, they've heard this message. Hey, it's on them, man. Cause we out here telling them, hey, don't eat that. That has that has this in it. Uh -huh. We out here telling our people, don't eat, don't eat that madness. We out here telling our people, don't don't take that chip. We out here telling our people, hey man, don't commit adultery. Uh -huh. And I bet if you want to still do that, hey, it's on you. Your blood is on your own hands, man. Just for these sissy ass niggas out here, man. Go ahead, dog. Uh. This is verse five. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. That's right. So he heard this message and he took not warning, man. Go ahead. His blood shall be upon him. His blood shall be upon his own hand, man. You're not listening to these words. If you are Israelite, which you Negro, Latinos, and Native American, you consist of Israelites. <laughs> the white people are Edomites. That's right, bro. You have nothing to do with the law. In fact, you are destined for failure. That's right. You will be burned up by the Most High. That's right. Go uh ahead, -huh. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. That's right. So if you take warning 
and deliver your soul, you'll be straight. We're not saying anything profound. We're saying, but it, it, now we're saying the scriptures are profound because this is our guideline. But it's really simple. There's certain ways that you're supposed to leave, man, uh, live. That's what a culture is, a way or a lifestyle. Our people have a, uh, a destructive lifestyle, a poverty-stricken lifestyle, a counterproductive lifestyle. And we're telling our people to get out of that. That's right, brother. You don't have to live that way. You don't have to live like a goddamn animal. That's right. You don't have to live like a pig. You don't have to live like a savage. We, you don't have to eat this slop. We have laws that you commandments. We have a, a history that we that that uh, in a book that's written for our learning. But our people still don't consider. That's why the most I hate these people, and that's why we do too. That's right. So you see, you see how it all comes together. Uh, Go ahead. Uh. This is Ezekiel 33 and six. But if the watchman see the sword come, uh -huh. and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. That's right, man. So if we ain't doing our job, guess what's gonna happen? We're gonna get burnt up. We're gonna we're gonna be charged, man. And hey, we've came too far for that, Lord willing. Well, so I will, and we're going to proclaim his word, man, and continue in this thing, man. That's right. But we understand these people don't have anything for us, man. That's right. The world doesn't have anything to offer, man. Really look at your life and examine it. And see, and really examine whether or not it's tainted. That's right, brother. The food that you eat is the foul. The woman that you would like to love, would not say like to love, is the foul. That's right. Because, hey, man, you might have feelings for a certain woman. And that's okay. That's right. You know, sometimes you feel like you're going off even having feelings. Yeah. Really? You know why? Because you understand, man, this woman's not even mine. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Like bro. I say this, your, your, your kids aren't even yours. Yep. They belong to the state. That's right. You know, that's but that's the captivity and that's the hand we were dealt for going against the laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right, man. Yeah, Jake, my people, man. The white man got our people out here looking like real out anger bitch, man. <laughs> Look at this, man. Weak, man. And he cool. <laughs> our people are bugged out their mind, man. That's just, you know, silly segue. You have something Go ahead. <laughs> Second Peter chapter uh, 2, verse, th verse 12. But these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed. That's right. Speak evil of the things that they understand not. That's right, our people are, our people speak evil of what we're doing right now. Y'all just hating it. Y'all got the wrong context. Man, you got uh, people, a person out there that have never read the Bible that will actually come up here and try to debate off of something they heard in Sunday school. <laughs> come on, man. How arrogant can you be? I, you know what? Out of humility, I wouldn't go in this and try to debate uh, somebody uh, uh, about evolution in debt. Like, well, didn't it? Didn't he say this? Because I haven't done my research, man. I would, you know what? I would say I don't believe it. I don't subscribe to it because this is net. It'll be on a very rudimentary level. You know? Go ahead. It shall utterly perish in their own corruption. That's right. In their own corruptions, they're going to perish, man. Because, the, I mean, the most high set up certain ways for us to live, man. And if you're not living in, in, in that certain, uh, um, in, in, in that certain uh, reality, guess what? The most high set it up to where it's going to be detrimental to you, man. We're not saying, what I say, we're not saying they profound. These, that's why he's saying the joke is easy, man. If you don't do certain things, certain things won't happen to you. If you don't commit adultery, guess what's gonna happen? The one gonna be, any, first of all, it ain't gonna be any confusion, less STDs, okay, uh, less murder, okay, less strife, <coughs> more integrity, more unity in the family. There's so many reasons why it's good. If you do do it, guess what you could deal with? Murder, jail, confusion, madness, fighting, strife, all because of these sins, man. We're telling our people to, to, to establish the law, man. Keep the law, man. That's, this is what's going to keep us safe. 
go to Joshua 1 and 8. Book of Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, yep. that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Mm. That's right, man. So we're here, we're telling our people to meditate on this word, man. We're going to understand what to do in those days, man. It says wisdom and knowledge will be the severity of thy times. Now that was written thousands of years ago, man. It's still a bill. We want we like to bring that out uh, for the last days. But guess what? Your law statute commandment has always been in place, man. For us to live by, for us to abide by, man. For us to govern ourselves. That's right. Go ahead, huh? For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. For then thou shalt make your way prosperous, man. Because the most high set it up that way. What's so bad about not eating pork? What's so bad about not eating shrimp? If you don't eat it, guess what? You'll be healthy. The scriptures even tell you not to eat a whole bunch of meat. If you got a woman, cool, let that be your woman. Y'all too, y'all, y'all cheat. Cheese, you know what I'm saying? Let, let, let your woman be your women. If you got multiple, they got all got to deal with you. How is that unproductive? But our people, our people like would prefer believe in all these vain and uh, philosophies of so-called white men who tell you to do what thou will, mm -hmm. who tell you to sin, live it up. And now look at our people, man. Dusty and crusty, man. Fat. You go to Walmart, majority of black women are <laughs> fat. Yep. Kids fat. Nigga Epsi, you see a nigga, he all skinny looking, malnutrition. Cause he, he <laughs> coked up. That's right. Or ain't, or ain't living right. Mollied up. Yeah. <laughs> Mollied up, got holes in his, got on a, on, on K2. Yeah. That's a man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if, if a man do got a little sense to him, he got, he got a white woman. <laughs> And he, but he's 65 though. Mm -hmm. He walk around downtown. That was just a thong sandal. Carrying a purse. That's a new phenomenon for a black man. <laughs> he wear thong sandals, man. You got 30 year old Jay trying to be cute. Nigga got a comb. Okay. With some thong sandals on, man. Yeah, Look like straight sissy, man. <laughs> no, and this year, they ain't this year no type of judgment for his kids. You wonder why your kids got ADHD. You wonder why your kids get in trouble at school. You wonder why your kids dumb as hell. Because you ain't got a standard. Our people don't put two and two together, man. Our people run away from discipline. Our people run away from morality, man. Right, it made no goddamn sense. You got some more to that? I had a precept. You have a precept? Get yours. Get yours. This is Hosea 4 and 6. That's right. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. A lack of understanding, man. That speaks volumes, man. Of so many levels, man. <coughs> Because when you get into the scriptures, man, you want you you get to inquiring about the world, man. This is the this is the blueprint right here, and it makes you, man. When you when you get into the scriptures, it makes you such of a smarter person, man. Because you have to look things up to understand it. You have to be studious, man, to understand the scriptures in depth. And our people don't want to do that. Our people want to prefer just to live it up. You know what I'm saying? Be uh, uh, majority of people. What people do is for their own self, man. Like, why you think? Why you think these families that are uh, structures are effed up, man? The bitch have a, a little daughter or a, a son, and she's staying with the grandma. The girl, meanwhile, the girl in the club, she might be cute, and mostly pretty girls. They do that. I noticed that. The girls I'm with school with, you have a lot of these girls be fine. But where that kids at? You you won't even know they had kids. They tell you like we sit down and talk to a motherfucker got a kid. Where the kids staying at? With the grandma, cause she so she continue her life. <laughs> Go get a whack ass degree, man. Don't even use it. Or them uh, or them either make uh, women that are uh, adopting a uh, little Jake. Yep. And then a, a lot of them little Jake now they got this big uh. 
conversation uh all these white women better moms than black moms you know you know they always gonna have that that, that comparison that, that uh that contrast the pros and cons of that they they say the white woman is a better because of some of those uh kids that's been adopted by the so-called white woman turn up to uh, be something like you know you got athletes or something and now that and you know the uh the Edomites are held as beauty in a society. So that even adds on to that. Can I say something yeah. too? Yeah, the, the white woman right now on this side is a better parent than the, than the nigger woman especially, man, because the scriptures talk about that our woman would be considered as uh, careless daughters. That's right. Uh, I think in Isaiah it compares uh, our women to being ostriches. You know, oh, yeah. basically, they'll they 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 lay their eggs and, and forget where they you know lay them at, mm -hmm. and then fucking step all over. You know, if if you could really extrapolate what that mean, man, our people, our women, man, they don't take no regard for how they're dealing with their children, and that's the balance of a woman. A woman's supposed to be uh, nourishing. She's supposed to be empathetic. You'll see the nigga woman in Walmart. It'll be like a damn one year old kid. She's snatching them all up yep. by the arm. Come on, or, or like it's shit. a baby. He's supposed to want to grab and want. Yeah, I just, I, I just see this right here. Like, say for instance, you're the child and one nigga woman just, yeah, I just walk and leave behind. You know what I'm saying? Acting like, acting like, hey, she act like the, 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 the kid is stalking her. Yeah, yeah. The, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, you see a kid walking down the street. You see a kid walking down the street like, hey, what is, what, what the mama at? The mama up there, way the hell up there. Come on. Pop it. Yeah. Because she was, because more black woman is into her damn self, man. Right, you got this, and, and polite and them understand that. They understand how fickle women is, or are, man. <coughs> All these people, and they're, they're, not, they're just like uh, the, the black church. They understand how how uh, 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 how how much these women crave attention. You know what I'm saying, y'all? That's a punk cross street. Leave them alone. We we'll talk to them. Go ahead, uh. You ever heard of that saying, uh, if you knew better, you do better? Yeah. That comes straight from the scriptures, man. Wisdom of Solomon says that that's wisdom gives you discipline. It's, it's because your mind is yeah. open. Yeah, that's a you understand things, so you act better. You ain't did no research. How you gonna tell us it's a lie, man? That, see, that's our people, man. Our people don't, don't do any research. People are walking over down the street watching uh, VH1 all day, and they're gonna tell us it's a lie, man. You don't know nothing, man. You just 2015, you smoking cigarettes? Come on, man. You think? <laughs> you think? <laughs> that nigga right, the whole ass nigga hated it. But that's our people, man. Go big, go ahead. Did you finish, bro? No. Okay. I, am, I, was, I was just, just saying, saying that uh, in Wisdom of Solomon, it tells you that wisdom gives you discipline. That's the right. The more you know, the better you can act. That's right, man. The better you can, you know, maneuver around in this world. That's right, man. And that's why these women out here, see, when, the, when men rise up on, on these sun, man, it's a problem. Yeah. Because they know if these men get right, guess who's going to gonna fall in suit? Women. Right now, he, uh, uh, the men are there on this side are on, on that low state. So guess who's going to be at a low state? Stupid ass women, man. Mm -hmm. Now the brother's saying that uh, these white women out here are uh, 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 um, uh, uh, adopting our children, man. And it's like people think that we take pride in the saying that the white woman right now is in a better condition than our women. We don't like that shit, man. That's not something that we just marvel at. That's not something that, 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 that uh, is attracting our feeling to it. It's just reality, man. These women are at a very low state, man. Our people are at a very low state. I gotta make sure you get somebody, somebody get the camera. Okay. Me, brother. I got a quick little precept. Just going into what y'all talking about the woman and how our woman, it, it's sad that the white woman's taking more care of the children than our women, but it's prophesied in the scriptures. You know, look at Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 56. It says, the tender and delicate woman amongst you which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom uh -huh. and toward her son and toward her daughter. That's right. Evil, man. Evil. Now look at it. Water, Where you at right there, bro? Deuteronomy 28 and 56. Yeah. Yeah. Cursed. That's cursed. <laughs> That's a cursing, man. And that goes here perfectly. Thank you, brother, for that uh, precept. That goes here perfectly what we're talking about, man. You women out here are engulfed in their damn self, man. Obsessed with fucking selfies, man. You got women on the internet getting, uh, getting, um, 
getting exposed that they uh, act like they cooking, but they ain't cooking shit. Like water, <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, look at our fire and ain't cooking shit, man. Cook something, man. That's right, brother. Okay. Wonder why she can't keep a man, man. Wonder why a nigga don't want to uh, 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 be with them, man. And hey, you niggas are at a worst state, too, man. You niggas, you niggas out there are uh, 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 little boys, man. Obsessed with having sex with as many women as you can. Grow up, man.